Hello everyone. Hi everybody. Hello. We are right out here in Murfreesboro yeah. Lake. This is not January today. No. This is March and we are in a winter wonderland. It's absolutely yes. gorgeous. Yeah. And I'm just going to tell you on my way here to do the broadcast, the Lord completely changed the name of the devotion yeah. and he's spoken into my spirit very, very strong. You know when God speaks to you, yes. right? And he said, wider than snow, mm. whiter than snow. Wow. And so it's, it's what we're going to talk about. Yeah. And yeah. this is about Becca. What's happened to you recently. It is just so exciting. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm just going to give you a backstory a little bit. So a few months ago, she's walked through the biggest time or the sorrow of her mm -hmm. life. Yeah. Um, and God is bringing her on the other side of yes. this place. And he has shown her some amazing things and what she's experiencing is a freedom yeah. so when i say wider than snow when you hear that in scripture mm -hmm. this is what it means it expresses the condition of one who has received god's forgiveness cleansing from sin and redemption and so becca would you say that's what's happened to you? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> she is so excited. Awesome. I'm telling you, I can't wait for her to tell you what's happened. It's just amazing. But first, I want to go into your story just a little bit. Okay. Um, how you ex what you experienced as a child? Mm -hmm. um, from infancy, you know, uh, my dad was abusive. Um, he ended up abandoning not just my brother and I that I grew up with, but all four of his kids. There was three boys and me and um you know when when you're left like that you you get left with a feeling of you're ugly you're unwanted mm -hmm. unloved um, yes just carrying all this baggage and it really didn't matter how many times my mama loved on me and told me mm. that she wanted me that hole was still left because yes. he was gone and mm. you know grandma and papa told me how much they loved me and it just that it, I always carried it with me and mm. over time you know the different traumas that I went through it was like it concreted it even more inside of my heart my soul and and I let it sink in Becca you expressed how you felt about yourself mm -hmm. all these yeah. years yeah. and guys this just came off of her this <laughs> <Yeah>. week <laughs> yeah. the way she saw herself so yes. I want you to tell us you felt like because of the abandonment mm -hmm. um be, that you felt are ugly uh -huh. so I want you yes. to to explain that to them um you know there was just a deep-seated feeling that something had to be majorly wrong with me and every time I looked in the mirror I couldn't see what my mom would tell me you know and, and I never saw any beauty or, or mm. pretty to me at all it was ugly you know I've got to be because he he didn't love me well, he didn't want me now Becca you expressed how that you were bullied at school mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. and why I was made fun of because we were poor um, cause I had freckles cause I didn't have a dad oh. cause that was, you know, already bad enough. And then yeah. getting made fun of for that too. Um, and so every time you looked in the mirror, yeah, yeah. I, that's what I saw mm. were all the things that I got made fun of for. I want, uh, Jasmine to read this scripture because this is the, what God feels about it. Right. Psalm 27 and 10 says, even if my father and mother abandoned me, the Lord will hold me mm. close. Yeah. Yeah. Second Corinthians 16, mm. six and 18 says, and I will be your father and you will be my sons and daughters says the Lord almighty. Yeah. When your father, your earthly father abandoned yeah. you. Mm -hmm. And I want you to know something right now. Your father, your heavenly father is not like your earthly That's father. Right. And That's your earthly right. father is yeah. not like your yeah. heavenly father. That's right. You can't even compare. Right. And so now that she has experienced that, your whole world has changed. Oh, yeah. And, but something <laughs> happened this past Sunday. <laughs> uh, it is just so exciting. Yeah. We had an incredible service. Yes, Jasmine, tell us about it. Service. I mean, we had an encounter with Jesus, every person that was there. It was powerful. And we ended so strong with Becca. I don't know if I'm supposed to be the one that says it. So yes. Like, oh, yes. Becca uh, got baptized. You got yeah. baptized. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> she can't hardly contain herself. And I just want, I'm going to let Jasmine read this because this yes. is with, with your permission, she yes. texts this yes. to me and I want Jasmine to read it. She said, Oh, Debbie, I'm so happy. And so different. Those things have melted away and I am so new. My heart is full and the tears are so different. They are of joy renewed in awe of our father's love. I felt my soul change and leap for joy when I came up. So very glad and blessed to have answered the call. Isn't that chills. something? I mean, so Becca, <laughs> tell me 
just this week, oh. your perspective, yeah. because all that washed away, yeah. I yeah. mean, down gone. the drain, yeah. it's gone. It's completely gone. <laughs> that it feeling is. of heaviness, yeah. he's yeah. obviously exchanged the spirit of heaviness for the garment of praise. Right. Yes. And you can see, <laughs> yeah. I'm telling yeah, you, you she's gone it. through months of sorrow, <laughs> yeah. yes. but God has lifted something that was even mm. rooted years ago right. of yes. your perception of yourself. Yeah. And so tell me, you were driving down the road this <laughs> week and, yep. and you saw yourself in the mirror. Tell right. me. Yeah, I flipped my visor down just to kind of check and make sure I didn't have eyeliner across my face or something. And I had a moment first time in my entire life. I was like, wow. <laughs> and it was like, I don't want to sound conceited, but no. it was like, I could see the light of God in myself. Mm. You know, I could, for the first time in my life, I didn't have a bad feeling looking right. in the mirror. I had a joyful overjoy. <laughs> feeling. Wow. Yeah. wow. You see yourself how yeah. God sees you. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Awesome. Cause you are his masterpiece. Yes. Listen, yes. You are his masterpiece. That's, exactly right. That's right. So Psalm 51, seven through eight says, purify me from my sins and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Oh, give me back my joy again. You have broken me. Now let me rejoice. Don't keep looking at my sins. Remove the stain of my guilt. I love that. <laughs> so you've said you feel like you could take flight. Can you tell them? Yes, <laughs> I do. Like I just, I want to run up and down the halls, you know, at work and, and tell everybody, have you met my Jesus? Let me tell you about my Jesus and how he changed my Jesus. life. I love that. Yeah. Psalms 51 and 10 says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. That's what he's done. And there's yes. such a peace. You know, when it snows yeah. outside, it's a pure purification, isn't it? Yes, it and is. And you feel such a peace. It's so settled here, isn't it? It is, yes. It's just gorgeous. Cold, I don't know if yeah. you can see. Just open up a little bit, girls, behind. It, so it is just, beautiful. that is not, look, we are not at the church. No. You know, in front of the big screen. This I is real. Know. This is real. So it's such a peace. And you said all the spiritual baggage is. Yeah, it's gone. It's I mean, gone. Every bit it's of gone. It. Yeah. And I like what you said. You said God can. God will. God did. And God, God has. God has. Oh, He's lifted good. that heaviness that. wider than snow. Now, mm. when I say whiter than snow, it's absolutely, completely, totally removed without any trace of stain left behind. Yes. Wow. And that's, that's good. That's what you said earlier. The, yeah. Like there's no residue even. Right. I'm telling you yeah. what, isn't God awesome? Yes, yes he is. <laughs> so it, I just want to, I just want to express to you that you, if, if you can't see it in her eyes, <laughs> I'm telling you, it is real yes, you feel it. and it's never too late. So what would you say to them, Becca, today? I mean, you've yeah. carried the heaviness. You carried a perception about yourself that yeah. is gone. You yeah. know what your heavenly father thinks mm. about you. I mean, you're beautiful <laughs> yes, inside yes. and out. Isn't she? Come on, Stunning. throw up some hearts. I love it. Um, and so I want you to, to just begin to minister with those out there. Mm. Just, just take a moment and express, you know, what you did and, and where you're at now. Yeah. Um, I just want to encourage anyone out there who might be suffering because of things that have been said or done to them that have made them believe the lies that this world can tell them, that, that you're not worth anything, oh. that you're ugly, that, that you can't be loved, that you can't be redeemed. Come it's on. all lies. <laughs> That's it's right. All lies. All lies. All. The Father wants you to know that you are beautiful, that you yes. are loved, you're cherished, and yes. he wants nothing more than for you to come running into his arms. And mm -hmm. to wash you whiter yes. than yes. snow. Yes. I love it. Yes. Well, I want Jasmine, if you would, yeah. to lead us in prayer and stay tuned. Becca's going to do a snow yes. angel. <laughs> She's so excited. that I mean, come on. It's so fitting. <laughs> so fitting. God, I thank you thank so you. much for this day, Father. Thank and right now, Jesus. for all of us that are listening and, and us doing this right now, Father, I pray that you do just wash us whiter than snow, God. We release it all to you, God. We know that you take away all the hurt, all the pain, God, anything and everything that's not yes. from you, God. Wash it away and make us clean, clean in your sight, clean in your eyes, God, yes, and let Jesus. us know that we have everything yes, we need Jesus. in you, Father. I thank you for the work you're doing in Becca's life yes, and everything you're going to continue you. to do, Father, yes. and we thank you for it in advance yes. right now, God. We just ask all these things in your name, and we give you all the <laughs> praise you, and the Jesus. glory. Amen. 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 <laughs> well, as you can see, we are so excited. Yes. Well, Becca, listen, Let's see it. we are right, right out here in 20-something degree yes. weather, and she is she can, feels like she can fly. Well, oh. now she's going to do a snow <laughs> angel. She ain't kidding. Oh, I love it. <laughs> She is a kitten, guys. Oh, my goodness. Becca, how are you feeling oh. right now? <laughs> now she got to get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> listen. Oh, awesome. Listen today. Yes. God loves you. Yes. We love you. And have a great rest of your, rest of your night. Bye-bye. <laughs>